Hey guys, it's Neko here. It's good to see you and welcome to episode 02 of series How to Edit Like a Pro for Beginners. So in this episode, I'm going to show you how to edit Twixer and time map to your edit. So let's first import our clips and if you don't know how to import clips, mark beats and all that basic stuff you can watch my episode 01 on it and you can download these files from description. So first let's create a composition from this audio file here and then let's rename it as main. Now let's mark our beats. So select this file here and double tap L to open waveform. Now let's mark a beat. As you can see, I have marked my beats. So let's cut our clip from the clip file. Let's create a composition from this clip file here and rename it as clips. If you don't know how to cut clips, you can watch my tutorial on it. That is episode 01. As you can see, I have cutted my clips, so let's manage these files here so that we don't have to search through again and again. Let's create a folder and name it clips, then put all these clips inside it, and make sure that you put this one composition inside clips too. Now, let's Create another folder and name it RAWs and put soundtrack and RAW clip file in RAWs. Now let's manage our clips first without adding Twixer so that we can see from where we really need to do Twixer and where we need to do time map. I'm not gonna say the method that I'm gonna teach you guys is the best but I can say that this method will give you the most control over your pixel so let's match these files here real quick. so now I'm gonna limit my clip between these two frames these two beats so that I can manage my other clips so let's do a, a little time map here make sure that you have selected this clip here then hold ctrl alt and then tap T now move to the middle beat and create a keyframe here by clicking on this icon here now move to the last beat and then drag this last frame here and decrease this I know it's not smooth now but we are going to smooth it out so let's real quick arrange our clips As you can see, I have arranged my clips according to the beats and added a new file here, extra one. So now let's preview our edit. So as 
as you can see, we don't have to text uh, every clip in our edit. You can if you want, but I'm not gonna. Let's mark the clips that we want to twixer. Let's click here and change its color to purple. I'm gonna just twixer the half of this clip. So I'm gonna split it here and twixer the other half. So as you can see, this clip, this clip here is very smooth and we don't need to fix it to make it smooth so let's change the color of the remaining one i'm gonna just fix uh, this part here so let's split it make sure that you have selected this clip here hold ctrl shift and then press d to split and let's change its color to purple so now let's fix uh, our clip I'm going to fix this clip first. So let's close this folder here and create a new folder and name it Fixer. Now create a composition. Click here to create a custom composition. Name it Twixter. And now increase its duration to 10 minutes, something like that. And make sure that its resolution is same as that of the main composition and frame it to now hit ok now put this composition inside pixel folder now i'm gonna pixel my clip c so let's switch to pixel composition and input our c file here and close this one here and this now in this method of doing Twixer, first we are gonna increase the length of the video to as much as possible and as slow as possible. And then we are gonna pre-compose it and then we are gonna do time map on it. It's quite easy. So let's do it. Select this clip here. Hold Ctrl Shift and then press C to open this. Now make sure that you have unchecked this icon here and click OK. If you don't have Pixel installed in your PC, you can download it from description. Now select this and add Pixel to it. I mean Pixel Pro. Now uncheck this icon and change its frame rate to 7, image wrap to contrast edge enhance, speed to 10 and frame input to blending motion with blend and wrapping to inverse with smart blur, smart blend. As you can see, the clip was till here before we added Pixel to it. Now the clip will be something like here or here. The clip will end something somewhere around here. So let's move few frame forward by holding shift and tapping page down key. And Cut it here, hold Ctrl Shift and then tap D to cut. Now delete this part here and then select this and hold Ctrl Shift plus and then tap C to pre-compose it again. And now make sure that you have click on this icon that is check and change it to Twix and rename it to Twix C. Okay, now click OK. Now switch to main composition and move to our project panel then click on this Twixer folder and then input Twix C in this at this position now let's time map on it make sure that you have selected this clip Twix C and then 
hold control alt and then tap t to open time wrap properties so now i'm gonna add time wrap to it so let's move to the last frame till where we want our pixel to be and then drag it to its last frame by doing this and then cut it and then sorry and then delete this here and you can delete this if you want now as you can see we have our Twixer clip here select this these icons here and tap control F to easy ease then click on this icon to move into graph editor if you don't have graph like this click here and then edit value graphs sorry and now let's click on this and then change it to something like this So let's me show you how it's look without and with Twixer. As you can see this side this one is twixered and this one is without twixer so let's delete this one here and remove the mask from this one now I want to time wrap according to this beat so I'm gonna tap you to open properties and then I'm gonna move few frame back to add close his eyes make sure that there is some movement and then select these and then move to graph editor and now select this tool here select and then select these frame and tap F9 to easy again now I'm gonna change graph like this looking pretty nice so let's move on to our second clip and do the same so this clip is D then let's import our D file here then move it up as you may know we are only gonna fix this part so I'm gonna delete the previous part first let's check the last frame first So I have fixed the clip that I wanted so let's check everyone one by one. So as you can see I have wraps here and I'm not going to do anything about these cause these are not that 
that much noticeable so let's move on to the second one so as you can see i have a clip here which is not fixed and i have clip above it which is fixed and as you can see i have wrap in my last frame so i'm gonna just remove it like this and that's it so let's move on to the second one So as you can see I have a little pause here in the scene so I'm gonna create a keyframe here and then change its position to the last one and then time ramp it again. Select this and press F9 to easy again and then just change the graph like this and let's and this is the last clip I do have a little pause here so I'm gonna adjust it again and if you want you can change the frame rate of the Twixer you can change the frame rate in Twixer setting to get less wrap or more wrap it depends on the clip so now I'm gonna do a little bit tweaks here and there so guys that's it for this tutorial i hope you found this tutorial helpful make sure to like and comment if you have any problem comment it below i'm gonna do my best to solve them and see you next time